Hello everyone, this is Suzanne at God Crochet and Chatter. Today is Tuesday, May 2nd. Ah, finally, the day has arrived. I go to the doctor today to get my clearance for surgery. That's one more thing behind me. Now I'm, after this, I'll be all set for surgery on May 19th. Keep me in your prayers on that, please. My knees have really been flaring up um, since this weather has turned so cold and damp. I know all of, you know, most of you maybe, if not some of you, are dealing with chronic pain issues. My heart goes out to you. Sometimes it's hard to get through those days when the humidity rises and it's damp and it's rainy. All right, today is Tuesday. On Tuesdays we do devotionals and I also do a verse of the day. It so happens that the verse of the day is also going to be wrapped up in our devotional. It was a very good verse and a very good devotional. I found this in my Daily Guidepost 2013. I have about six, seven of these different uh, Daily Guidepost um, devotionals. They're very good. All right. The verse of the day, Psalm 139, 1. You have searched me, Lord, and you know me. When I was five, I almost drowned. My uncle, who was supposed to be watching me, was distracted by friends. Always a daredevil, I adventured alone beyond the safety ropes. There, I found myself deep down in the murky lake, looking up at a bright light beyond the surface. How my uncle pulled me from the bottom and persuaded me not to tell my parents, I can't imagine. But sometimes later, sitting in a theater, watching a newsreel play across the screen, frame by frame, I remembered being on the bottom lake and seeing the pictures of my tiny life flashing across some far away stage. My mother cooking dinner, my brother helping me cut out paper dolls, my daddy carrying me on his shoulders. My husband David tells me that some famous theologian once speculated that when we get to heaven, the first thing God says is, show me your slides. I consider my present slideshow, which grows longer and more complicated. I shudder at frames showing me rude, impatient, ungrateful, selfish. I'm not thrilled to include these in my unveiling. But nevertheless, they are a part of my reality. Next comes faces of the elderly people we have helped, the strangers we have embraced, an African boy who looks to me for hope. I see the teacher I have defended, the laborer I have lifted. Oh my goodness, what if we really are creating our own personal slideshow as we go through our days? Thinking this, my first inclination is to run straight to Jesus' teachings and rewrite my script, kindness, forgiving, loving, serving. If I start now, maybe my slideshow will be a presentation that will make God laugh in great and lasting delight. Father, please let, Father, please, let me please you with my life and delight you with my choices. Wow. Can you imagine if our life was a slideshow. I think God sees everything and I think we could look at it that way, that nothing is hidden uh, before God and we will have to give an account for those things. Hopefully we'll have more good slides than bad slides and those bad slides we will have asked forgiveness for and God will remember them no more. So that's why we want to keep praying every day, keep asking for our forgiveness of sins, helping the poor, the sick, the needy, looking to God's word every day, such as we're doing each day. We come on here and we listen to devotionals and maybe you come on and listen to sermons or different teachers. We need to feed our souls daily and let God see more and more and more of those lights in our life. All right, everyone, I hope you've enjoyed that devotional today. You have searched me, 
Lord, and you know me. Psalms 139.1. You may want to highlight that scripture in your Bible. All right, everyone, that's it for today. I am just about ready to um, go to the doctor's. I have, it is 12 o'clock. I'm going to leave in about an hour and 15 minutes. Let's see, 12. No, I can't leave an hour and 15 minutes. It's 12. I'm going to leave about quarter to one, about 45 minutes from now. So I wanted to come on here and uh, say hi to you good people. I love each and every one of you. I know a lot of you are in the background listening. Could you please press that like button? It only takes a nanosecond. I sure would appreciate it. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please press that subscribe button. Um, we have a lot of fun here at God Crochet and Chatter. I do have something to show you. I know it isn't Saturday, but I want you to see if you can guess what this might, what this is going to be. What do you think this is going to be? Any ideas? Well, you have to tune in on Saturday to find out. <laughs> All right, everyone, you take care. You have a blessed day in the Lord. Lord willing, I'll be back tomorrow, which is Wednesday, with another great study in Revelation. I believe we are on Revelation 2, verse 11, if you want to read that. All right, everyone, bye-bye.